Monroe, live from the Pan African Film Festival. And we have a treat ball today. We are on the red carpet for our future. Thank you for our documentary premiere featuring one of AfterBuzz TV's own Al Gregg. We are live on the red carpet for the Pan African Film Festival. Greg, the director of Jamaica House. So I'm from LA. I'm okay. an LA native. I remember Jamaica nice. House. Really? When it popped off. Yeah, I remember when it was. I forgot the first spot on sets and went to Hollywood Live for yeah, a minute. Yeah, yeah. So we were at, we were at um uh, what do you call it um the Roxbury on Sunset for a while. Right, a couple right. other places. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me what inspired you to produce this and put this out and direct it. Okay. Well, I mean, if you've been to Jamaica House, you know how cracking it was. It was uh the biggest hip-hop dancehall reggae club in LA during the 90s. We ran, ran it for a decade. Started off really small at these Jamaican venues, Kingston 12, but it just so happened that we just blew up and got bigger and bigger. You know hip-hop is like once Ice-T comes down and Tupac comes down, bam, the club just like went to like super fame, you know, and we had to move to the Sunset Strip. But I happened to be in film school at the time. And just to clarify, I was one of the promoters, one of the founding promoters. And um, I was in film school at the time. So I would bring my camera down from film school and I would shoot the club and I would shoot a lot of the artists. I knew I was always, I mean, I, my intention was always to document. I just didn't know what the final project would look like. But man, this is what, it, what it's turned out like. You have some classic footage. There are um, there's video of Tupac backstage that has never been seen before. Yeah. Did you always know you had a gold mine? Is that why you held on to it for all these years? <laughs> yes, yes. And then I don't want to take too much of the credit because too, you know what's really helping is people have sent me footage. I shot 70% of what you see on the film, but like people like you will hit me up and be like, yo, I got this picture, I got that picture. But to, uh, for the Tupac thing, let me uh, set the table for you guys. In the 90s, it's a very uh, seminal time. You know, not just in the music, but in Los Angeles. You know, there's a lot of unrest. 1992, Rodney King, uh, he had just gotten beat by those cops and the cops got let off. So April 1992, the first night of what people call the LA riots, we call the rebellion. Night one was a night of Jamaica House. It was a Wednesday night. LA is burning. I'm thinking nobody's coming to the club, but my boy Dave, who's over there, he pages me and he's like, yo, where are you at? I'm like, LA's burning. He's like, come down to the club, it's cracking. The line, two blocks down, police barricades, and I could barely get in. Then they say, Pac is here, Pac is here. So, like, oh, what are we doing? Let's get, him, let's get him in the back. So we ran him, bring him around to the back, sneak him in the back, throw the camera up, and he just dishes this ill freestyle against the LAPD and Daryl Gates, just really giving it to him, you know, just for like the police brutality. And it's like I said, this is historic because it was night one of the rebellion and uh, a really uh, pivotal time in history and a flashpoint in the music and the culture. So not a lot of people know about the LA club scene. New York is the one that gets all the hype. So what is it that's special about the LA club scene and Jamaica House in particular that makes it different from the yeah. East Coast? Oh, uh, most definitely. Um, well, I think we're probably more diverse than the than, uh, New York scene gives us credit for. Obviously, you know, we birthed people like, you know, the Ice Tees and all that performed our first night. And uh, I like to refer to our film as like straight out of Los Angeles uh, as opposed to straight out of Compton because like Cube and all those guys, easy, they would drive up to our club and they were here in LA every, every week. And um, with that said, we would still apply that East Coast aesthetic. We had, uh, we would break Wu Tang, we broke. Um, uh, uh, Lauren Hill and the Fugees. We broke so many artists. This is on their first shows on the, on the West Coast. Um, I'm drawing a blank right now. Gangstar, Guru, Nas, all the big heavyweights from the East to the West. They were all performing at Jamaica House and we, and we uh, incorporate all the music. Okay, so last question. So for the people that aren't here to check it out, how can they view it? How can they get more information on it? All right, everybody. Go to JamaicaHouseMovie.com. Check it out, we'll always keep you informed. Um, hopefully they'll put my socials down there, at Jamaica House Doc. Um, right now we have a non-exclusive streaming deal. We're, I don't want to like put that out there yet because um, we're going to do some bigger distribution, but definitely uh, stay tuned. Thank you, Michelle.